317 average with six home runs. They're in the seventh inning in Gainesville. Jordan drives it deep right field and drifting back. It is gone. Solo home run, Rowdy Jordan, leadoff variety, and Leiter's given up another long ball. Now this time comes up against Jack Leiter. First pitch out of the zone, 1 0 fastball elevated, chokes up just a little bit. It's a no doubter to right field. 1 2 to Tanner Allen. Chopper up the middle, ranging is young. And late, what a play just to get to it. Back to back hits to start this game for Jordan and Allen. There he goes. Pitch is low. It's ball four. Fastball tapped to the left side. Gets by Gonzalez. Tanner Allen around third. Cooper Davis will lob it in, and Mississippi State has a 2 0 lead. Pretty good approach by Luke Hancock right here and, and the entire infield had shifted to the right side Carter Young the shortstop was on the first base side of second base Jason Gonzalez maybe a little bit closer to short than he otherwise would be but Hancock just took it right out of the glove of CJ Rodriguez two of the three hits have not been hit hard and he pops this one up infield fly rule Parker Nolan and that's how Jack Leiter finds his first out of the game and this ball's hit the opposite way to Gonzalez who'll go to second for one bobbled and no play from Parker Nolan after taking the throw handle those that are just down below runner goes throw to second got him to end the inning he draws the lead off walk and now starts a chess match with Logan Tanner there he goes. Two on pitches inside. Throw down to second. Not in time. 27th bag and 29 tries for Bradfield. Pretty good all the way around right here. Bradfield steals his 27th and just gets in there because the throw from Tanner's in a great spot. I mean, it is right on line. It's a little bit different approach for Forsythe. Back to back walks to start this game, and he's got to face the SEC's best hitters playing for his hometown team. There goes Bradfield, and he'll get to third without a throw. Second bag in the first inning for Enrique Bradfield to add to his nation's best total. Faces more than half the attempts. Swing and a miss. Huge fastball to take care of Keegan. First out of the game for Bednar. Three of his homers have come in conference play. Allen and Jordan converge. Tanner Allen with a exciting catch, and Enrique Bradfield will sprint home to give Vandy on the board. Swing and a miss on the breaking ball. Tag applied. We gave him the television jinx. It's your fault, Hart. Here's the payoff. Got him a 95. First strikeout for Leiter. Three pitches there. The good seat's working. Back-to-back -back K's for Leiter. Line drive. Left center field off the fastball. And Josh Hatcher will turn the lineup over with a two-out single. And misses inside again. It's a four-pitch walk to Jordan. Here's the 0-2. Swing and a miss. A steady diet of breaking balls. And Leiter... K's the side in the second, but not without allowing a couple more base runners. You're not going to hold back. Swing and a miss. Third strikeout as Nolan goes down. Made his Pirates debut at Wrigley Field. Hmm. Down goes Thomas. How about this? Walked the first two he faced. Now he's struck out four in a row. Good morning, good afternoon, and good night. Five strikeouts out of the first six outs of the game for Bednar. Fastball swinging at Nolan. Fastball swinging at Isaiah Thomas. And the backdoor breaking ball to get Cooper Davis. He's just, he's happy. He's always been confident, but he's never shown a lot of emotion. And that's been consistent at this level.
But then the understanding of just his craft to play, whether it's a board game or anything else, Jack just seems to win. He had never played pickleball. Everybody else had been playing for a few weeks. Breaking ball hit to the left side and just past the reach of Carter Young. Two out single for Tanner. Late jump and Tanner will go irrelevant after the hit by pitch. Tanner Leggett. And he sends this one into center field. It'll push Bradfield back a couple steps. Now in just as many. 2-2. Two -two. Into center field. Late jump, and it's going to drop in front of Roddy Jordan. And he chops one up the middle. No chance to turn two. And so Lane Forsyth takes the out of first with Gonzalez advancing. Payoff. Swing and a miss. Strike at number six. Short stop, and they're right on target. First pitch, line drive, snared it short by Forsyth. And he punches out Forsyth with the fastball on the outer edge. Fifth strikeout for Leiter. Ground ball to the right side. Dominic Keegan will toss to Leiter. 3 1. Two down tonight. Leiter punches him out on the fastball. Six K's, and Leiter's now got a hundred of them. First in the country with a hundred K's this year. One, two. Got him. Strikeout number seven for Will Bednar. Do two for Bednar. It's K number eight. Pitcher's duel is real tonight. That player. Curveball, ball four. Finish him here. Mm, and he did. How did that first call impact the next two pitches? I'd rather, if I'm on the mound, there's the breaking ball. He had him set up for it, too, when he starts it in that high slot. Well hit, left field. Davis will watch. It is gone over the wall. Two run shot, Logan Tanner. Second home run for State tonight. Hanging break of ball and Logan Tanner put one heck of a swing right on it. Seventh home run of the year and, and it's a short left porch but it doesn't matter right here. This one's going out anyway. Recognized that breaking ball hanging up in the zone. Hammers it out to left field. Two home runs given up in the game by Jack Leiter. This one a two run shot. Time that he goes out there that some nights he's he's better than others. The other thing he's facing a really good club. Yep. In the corner up above the brick wall catch made by Cooper Davis. Conference is what's crushing its RPI ground ball to the left side smothering diving stop Forsyth but he's got no play. And that's just the second hit of the game from Vanderbilt to put Davis on. Off the end of the bat De Brule gets a tag throws to first got it double play had him moved by the veteran Scotty De Brule talked about how many hits De Brule has had first at Jacksonville now makes his way to state but this is just a veteran defensive play charges it knows he's got enough time to make the tag now you got to get rid of it what would be an inning ending double play I think state's going to have to go back on the field here how about that Five pitch walk. Oh, threw it away. Skinner peeks over his shoulder as he heads to second. Swing and a miss. One down. Three pitches and Hunter Owen with a look down there. Back to back K's for the big left. He threw nine pitches in conference play coming into this. Bradfield and after the leadoff walk Connor Owen battens down to hatches mm. make it three walks there he goes pitches outside throw it into second little wide and another stolen base for Bradfield he is three for three tonight payoff 
Dribbled up the line. It's going to go fair. Bednar never chased it. That had some English on it. And it turns out to be a 55 foot fair ball. A little masse down the line for Carter Young. Little dribbler up the middle. Forsyth kicks it back. Goes to first for the double play. Got him looking. Vanny put the first two on. They got nothing to show for it. Six innings complete. 1-1 one, one is a line drive left field. Cooper Davis on the run over his head will hop against the fence. James into second base standing up. Payoff. Upstairs, ball four. Payoff. Roped into left field. James around third will score. Hancock to third. He'll stop there, and it's a double for Tanner, who has driven in three in this one. He is three for four. Uh, three hits in the game, a no doubt or home run early this time. Fastball down and in, and that's the no-go. Little roller to the right side, infield in, double clutch throw home, wide and short. And Mississippi State gets another. Parker Nolan either wasn't thinking cleanly or couldn't get out of his glove cleanly. The late Dan Van Cleve and Gene Morgan all were drafted off the World Series team. A uh, hit for Braylon Skinner. Tanner comes around to score. Throw to third and out at third base. They got DeBrule trying to pick up an extra base. An arm right here by Isaiah Thomas, and, and he's uh, the skill set is outstanding. To the backstop. This one stood out. Tap to third. And Gonzalez has it. A handful of guys share the NCAA record as your state will allow. And we know they're allowing as many as you want. That one ran up on CJ Rodriguez. He's not happy. First pitch ground ball. That one will get through. C.J. Rodriguez around third. They'll wave him home. Throw goes to third, and it was up the line. Run scoring single on the first pitch to Cooper Davis. To the right side. Pass Hatcher. Thomas has scored. Cooper Davis coming around third. Back-to-back -back hits for Davis and Gonzalez, and Vandy's made it a three-run game. Well, we've seen a few things already in this ball game that really haven't happened this year. Mississippi State swung a bat better against Jack Leiter than anybody else has. And now Vanderbilt's return to favor against Landon Sims. Since he's come into ball game, gave up two straight hits. Four pitch walk. Bounce off the catcher's face mask. Everybody will advance. The wild pitch that Tanner couldn't control. Gonzalez at third, Bradfield at second. Now he's got a runner at third and a swing and a miss for the second out. Mm -hmm. Caught looking. Breaking ball, the difference maker for Sims. Little Flair's going to drop for a knock. And Tanner Allen has his second hit of the game. Going to stretch it to second. He is in with a head first slide. Cameron James fouls a catcher's catch interference. interference, and he'll take first. Wait a second. There you go. <laughs> wow, this one's lifted to right field, but got underneath it, and Isaiah Thomas will drip back. Did he can handle the batter's box? Well, a Javier Vaz. Got him looking at the curveball. Sims back on track. 10 pitch, eighth inning. Tipped into the catcher's mitt for strike three. We go to the bottom of the ninth, three run game. It's a first. Whoa, got him looking. Landon Sims skipping around after another K. It's his fifth. There it is. Back to back K's, three straight for Sims going back to the eighth. In 26 innings. And Gonzalez puts it in the air to right. It's Tanner Allen to put it away, and Mississippi State takes game number two.